Internet-based applications enable enterprises to connect people, places, and things anywhere. However, this has also created a wider attack surface for cyber criminals and vulnerabilities are being actively exploited. As wide area networks become more flexible, organizations are moving beyond traditional perimeter-based security models to build adaptive, zero-trust networks. To explain Zero Trust Network Access, or ZTNA, it's helpful to quickly review Virtual Private Networks, or VPNs, another security model that's used for remote access and has been a corporate standard for decades. In a traditional setting, VPNs act like a moat surrounding a castle, where after verification and the moat is crossed, nearly everything within the network perimeter is accessible. This is why hackers work so hard to get employees, usernames, and passwords, and why perimeter-based security by itself doesn't fit the needs of modern organizations. ZTNA is a newer security concept built on the assumption that anyone trying to access a network is a bad actor. Following initial verification, the Zero Trust Network creates a secure tunnel from the user's device to the requested application, and nothing else. For the remainder of the session, ZTNA is constantly evaluating security, considering whether a user has changed locations, when they last accessed the application, if they're using a new device, and if their actions are abnormal, such as rapidly altering or deleting data. Zero Trust Networks force all user traffic to a cloud inspection point anytime information is transmitted. When using a low latency network such as 5G, the authentication process is completed so fast that it's virtually imperceptible to the end user. ZTNA is agile, quick to deploy, and highly scalable. Without a complicated infrastructure to maintain, fewer IT resources are needed for management, making ZTNA solutions more economical when compared to a VPN. With adaptive zero trust security in place, organizations can expand wide area networks to securely connect people, places, and things.